Have you ever done keyword research on Google Trends and you wish you had access to the search volume data? Well, now that's a reality with Keywords Everywhere. In today's video, I'll teach you how you can get access to not only the Google Trends data, but also the keyword search volume data to help you with your keyword research. So let's get started. So when you are doing keyword research on Google Trends, you have access to this very, very helpful line graph which shows you the search interest over a period of time. So you can see over the past 12 months what weeks this particular search term peaked in search interest. So the search interest is between 0 and 100. Now you can see for this search term Xbox Series X, over the past 12 months, it peaked during the month of November and also during the month of December. Now say for example, we wanna compare this search term with PS5. So the line graphs are relatively similar. Uh, they both peak during the month of November and December. So this only shows you the search interest between zero and 100. This doesn't show you the actual keyword search volume. Now that's very important to know when you are planning your SEO campaigns, which search term has the higher search volume, but Google Trends doesn't give that to you. So that's where Keywords Everywhere comes in because Keywords Everywhere not only shows you the uh, search trend over time from Google Trends, but it also layers on top the search volume from the Google Keyword Planner. Now having these two data points will make your keyword research uh, much more holistic, much more accurate, and will allow you to build out better SEO campaigns. So to get access to this data, you need to have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed on your browser and do a Google search. So we searched for the Xbox Series X and on the right hand side, you'll see this widget that shows you the trend data for the search term, the Xbox Series X. So you can see the trend over the past 12 months and we layered on top the search volume. So you can see the search volume on the Y axis and if you hover over the graph, you can actually see the specific search volume on a weekly basis when you are on the 12 month uh, toggle right here. Now, if we do a search for PS5, you can see the line graph is relatively similar, right? So it peaks in November and December. So if we look at the PS5 search term, between the week of November 21st through the 27th, the search volume was close to 2.7 million, right? But if we go to the Xbox Series X, the search volume for that same week was 2.5 million. So even though these two search terms peaked at that same uh, date range, PS5 actually had more search volume than the Xbox Series X. Now that's very, very important to know when you are strategizing and planning out your content and your SEO campaigns. Now, you can do other things with this widget as well. So if you wanna go more granular, say for example, over the past week, click on this seven day toggle, and then you can see uh, the trend over the past seven days and the search volume on an hourly basis. You can even toggle by the 30 day mark, so over the past month, um, what the trend was like and the search volume by day, and same for the past three months, you can see the search volume by day and the trend, and same for 12 months, five years, and also all time, all right? Now, you can also uh, export this data to analyze it um, and slice and dice the information however you want to. You can export this as a CSV file, or you can uh, copy this and open up a blank Excel document and paste it on an Excel document where you can analyze the search volume um, on a week-to-week -week basis, all right? Now, 
you can not only do this on a keyword by keyword level basis, but you can also analyze uh, the trend data in bulk. Okay, so say for example, we want to look at the related keywords and we want to look at this data in bulk, the trend data in bulk. So what I'm gonna do is just paste that. And if you click on the Keywords Everywhere extension and click on the bulk trends data, uh, you'll see this window here. And then you can paste your keywords now you can enter a maximum of 1,000 keywords separated by comma, semicolon, or a new line, like what I did. Set the duration, set the source, Google Trends or YouTube Trends, and click on Get Trend Volumes. Now Keywords Everywhere will analyze those keywords and give you the relevant metrics. So search volume, cost per click, competition, and then also the search volume on a month-to-month -month basis. So this is a this feature is makes it very easy for you to analyze a bulk of keywords all at once. All right. Now uh, you can do an, an analysis for Google search, but also for YouTube search as well. So if you search for any keyword, I search for PS5. On the right hand side, you will see the YouTube trend data uh, over the past same time frames, right? So in this example, it's over the past 12 months. And then you can see the specific uh, search volume as well on a weekly basis. Now, some other things to be aware of is that can you show trend data for all search queries? So only for the search queries that are available in Google Trends. And also if it's a new keyword that started trending maybe a month or so ago, um, the Google Keyword Planner might not have that search volume. So when you do a search, sometimes a search volume might not be, av be available if it's a newer keyword uh, that isn't available in the Google Keyword Planner. All right, now, is this free? So the trend data is free, so anyone has access to the trend data. Um, it is being pulled from Google Trends, but for the search volume data, you do need to purchase credits from Keywords Everywhere. Now, the search volume data does take up one credit, all right? And you can uh, get the data in bulk, as I uh, showed you. And the search credits, like I said, does take one search credit to uh, populate this graph here. And in terms of the bulk analysis, it does take one credit per keyword. All right, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, you got some value out of it. Uh, with that said, we will see you in the next video. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and if you want to learn more about Keywords Everywhere, just click any of the videos on the screen. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.